With me is Clinton Nauman, President and CEO of Lexco Resource. Lexco trades on the New York under the symbol AXU and on the TSX under the symbol AXR. Clint, uh, appreciate you joining me. I thought maybe you'd offer an update for the company, what you've been up to for 2014, and maybe a glimpse into 2015 in this uh, rather tough environment. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a tough, um, you know, it's it's tough without doubt. And, um, you know, so, you know, just looking back at, uh, you know, 2014, and, and I'd like to say that we, you know, accomplished, a, you know, a, f a fair amount, um, especially in the face of the fact that, you know, in 2013, you know, with declining silver prices and, and uh, with their operating margins being squeezed, we, you know, elected to suspend winter operations at, uh, at Belkino, you know, and uh, there are a number of things they had to do there, which is which included, you know, renegotiate our um, silver streaming arrangement with Silver Whedon. Um, but, uh, you know, the most important point was that we had a rapidly growing new silver resource um, at this flame of, moth, flame of moth deposit, and that we needed some kind of a revised operation strategy to integrate production from that deposit with other deposits in the in the district so you know we put together a PEA and uh, that lays out a plan to bring flame moth into production um, and uh, then subsequent to the publication of the PEA last December in 2014 we you know we mobilized an expanded exploration program um, to further evaluate extensions to the flame moth deposit. Now, um, you know, and results from that work will be incorporated in further optimization studies for that uh, for that particular deposit. We have not published. We don't have all those results in yet. From uh, you know, we drilled like 68, 70 holes, so it was a fairly big program, two to three drills. Um, in addition to that, we got some exploration, you know, some outstanding exploration results at a place called Birmingham. Um, which is uh, two or three kilometers away from five six kilometers away from uh, from Flame and Moth, including some of the highest grade holes that we've ever drilled at Keno Hill. So, um, you know, it's not uh, it, it's a uh, it's a year when we've hopefully been building resources on the property, trying to optimize our plans. You know, looking what our looking at what our oil and sustaining costs are going to be going back into production. Um, and knowing that we have, you know, seven to nine months of development work in front of uh, putting the district back into production. So in 2015, uh, you know, what I'm looking at right now is continuing to add value through exploration, um, and uh, and uh, you know, and and hopefully we'll be able to make a decision to. Um, you know, to recommence production or development at, at Flame and Moth, although that's going to be dependent upon a number of factors, um, including, you know, receiving all the appropriate permits and, you know, our expectation for silver, lead, and zinc prices, obviously. Um, U.S. Canadian dollar exchange rate is important um, in this kind of a market, and as is, as the, as is the availability of uh, development capital. So, you know, I think the cut to takeaway messages, you know, going into 2015 are probably that, you know, we still have one of the highest grade, you know, silver properties or districts in the world. We own the district 100%, subject to the silver weed and silver streaming agreement. Um, you know, we continue to plan to unlock value through, you know, a, a, an optimized uh, operating plan. For sure, you know, Alexco is highly leveraged to the price of silver, um, and you can see that um, time and again in the market. So when the silver, the, if the silver price turns around or the silver price rises, so we'll see exponential um, benefit. And in addition to that, I mean, the nice thing about Alexco is that we have a unique business and that we have a separate, a separate subsidiary, um, the Alexco Environmental Group, and uh, even though it's not, even though we're not currently producing silver, the environmental group is growing. It's profitable. It provides cash flow, and um, and uh, if you've been watching our financials, our cash position has pretty much stayed stable. So that 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 business is is essentially um, providing the the cash support for for everything else, including care and maintenance at uh, at Keno Hill. 
and um, and we certainly have the ability to wait out the you know the the environment the lower the lower silver price environment. So that's uh, that's not two minutes, but that's sort of the way I see it. Solid update, Clint. Appreciate the time as always. Uh, look forward to tracking your success in fifteen. Okay, thanks, Rob.